This is Cooking with the Buckeye Chef, and I'm Prophecy, your host, as always. Today we have a nice chicken ranch casserole. It's going to taste great. We have a few guests that are going to help out the Buckeye Chef, get a few things prepped, ready. We also have a nice salad that will be tossed, or is it a tossed salad? Either way, we got the Buckeye Chef coming up right here, baby. It smells good in the kitchen. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? It's good to be back once again. We have an awesome show prepared with guests going to help me out making all parts of the meal. We have the chicken ranch casserole and the special chef toss salad. That's going to be awesome. Without further ado, I'm going to bring out my first guest who's going to help me out, Julia. She's in season one. She's going to come back, help me cut the chicken, and get it ready for the casserole. So come on. All right. Yes. She's How's back. Going? How you been? I'm good, good. Went right. out for some brunch today, had nice. a good time. All right. So now here we are. Are you hungry? I am so hungry. Walked off all that food we had in there. Are your friends hungry? <laughs> um, yes, they've been complaining all day. Are you guys hungry? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're going to have that other parts of the meal, but we're going to wash your hands and we're going to get cooking. So, let's go. It's been a good day. Still, as I wash my hands, the Broncos are more champions. We're the best. You're still on that? I, I'm, still still on that. that. I'm still on that. Yes. I wasn't a believer, but they proved me wrong. Yes. And you won't let me live it down. No, we will not. All right, so we're just going to get the chicken cut up for this casserole. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of the quickest part of it. And cutting your chicken up will help it to cook faster. So will you have less time in the kitchen and get your food ready faster mm -hmm. so you'll finish time. That sounds wonderful. Yes. So right here. Today we have chicken thighs. I'll give you this right here. Left hand? It doesn't matter. You can put on left hand or right hand, whatever you want. I'm cutting with my right, so I'm right on my left. Yeah, we're gonna use gloves today to help with uh always washing our hands as much. So yeah. I'm gonna try that skin out. Yes. Cut right here. Huh, get, use that knife. Now what we're gonna do is make julienne strips and then <clears throat> dice it up. Julienne strips. Uh -huh. I was like, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> okay. Not Julia strips. <laughs> julienne strips. So tell me about your day out there when you went out to uh, Fort Worth. Well, we were kind of checking out some local spots. Went, uh, hopped around to a few different places. Um, started out at Vivo Fifty Three. Mm -hmm. Had some wonderful Italian spin on brunch um, and dollar mimosas and bellinis. Can't pass that up. So, that so would you great. recommend this place if they're for the dollar mimosas and bellinis? I definitely would. Um, the menu was, you know, a little bit higher as you're going to find when you've got those specials like that. Mm -hmm. um, but the food was definitely worth it. So, for people who want to check out this brunch spot, where was it at? Uh, this was downtown Fort Worth off of. Where, where was that one? Do y'all remember? Was it Sundance area? Or 7th Street? I feel like it was off 7th. Oh, we're, we're doing some research over there. Okay. We'll find out in just a second. <laughs> I heard you had a funny story today about uh, walking all over Fort Worth. Yeah, I learned how big our wonderful downtown Fort Worth really is. How big is downtown Fort Worth? It's, it's pretty, pretty huge. Well, Tell, tell, tell us our story about what so, happened. Yeah, so we went for our, you know, our mimosas. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe the mimosas <laughs> skewed my Do not uh, drink and walk because you could get a PI, guys. But keep going, keep going. Anyway, well, it's better than drinking and driving, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, so, yeah, we had our fill of mimosas and, you know, Italian food. And um, decided we wanted to check out the Fort Worth Market and Table, uh -huh. new spot that just opened up recently. Really intrigued, wanted to go get some, you know, Irish coffee <laughs> to settle that food. And um, decided, well, you know what, let's just walk it. We just ate a lot, we got yeah. this. And then two miles later. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Two we miles. Walking for two miles? Yeah, all the way down there. Man. Needless to say, we Ubered back. I don't know. That, that's a good brunch. If, if you eat a brunch, it can make you walk two miles. 
That is an amazing it's brunch. Worth it, right? That place Definitely. gets. What, what? Which was it? The Vivo place you walked two miles from? Vivo, yeah, from Vivo to um, the market and table. Okay, so if you don't know, well, first we're gonna after we color chicken up a little bit of EVO squared, and then we're just gonna do a little salt and pepper. Extra virgin olive oil. Uh huh. EVO squared. EVO squared. Okay. Salt and pepper. For a quick little mix. And this is just basic seasoning and a little bit of paprika. paprika. Yes, yes. And then we're just gonna go right in the pan right behind, right here. Can I finish with my glove? Yeah, I'm finished with your glove. Before you go, I want I want you to finish the story though, where I like get the so your Uber back. Yeah, first time using Uber, uh, and I can definitely recommend it. It was great. And why did you Uber back from from there? My feet were sore. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to walk off the rest of what we had just eaten okay. quite yet. You know, had a while until we were coming back for dinner. Okay. So I just saved a little bit of time. All right. It took us probably 30, 45 minutes. There's a lot of hills and traffic lights to wait at. Not good, not good. No, not at all. So all right. we made it through there, and it was five minutes to get back to our car. Right. So, yeah, we've learned well, the hard way. I learned a very important lesson. Do not eat a good brunch, get drunk on mimosas, and then just walk. <laughs> Pay attention to where you're walking to. Exactly. Don't just go. I'm going to wash my hands, guys, while the chicken's working in the background. Julia helped out awesome for cutting up the chicken. I'm going to run on another guest as soon as I'm done washing my hands. He's going to help me make the casserole and going to help me blend it all together. Alright. Yes. Send him on up here. Yes. We're going to have Darren. Come on down. Hello all you cooking people. I am Dorindra. <laughs> I am the sassy one. So, so where, where are you from Darren? I am from New York City. New York City. Mm -hmm. And what brought you down here to Texas? Mommy and Daddy when I was two years old. Two years old. So, yeah. I had no so they must have liked you must have liked you because you stayed here. Yeah, I like my Texas. It's open. Okay. More things to do. Okay. Friendlier. I'm not gonna lie to you. Are New Yorkers really mean? They tend to be. They can be. Uh -huh. But it also depends on where you go. Uh -huh. Not all of New York is rude, like they always say. Okay. It just depends on the area and the atmosphere and what's going on. Oh so, yeah. Oh, Darren's here. We're going to ask him some questions as we always do. We have our chicken working here in the background and we're going to blend everything together for this casserole. Okay? Perfect. Alright. So tell me about like some food places that you always recommend. We always say, you know, if you go out to eat in, in Fort Worth or Dallas, DFW, where to go? Well, of course, you know, my main thing is Chipotle. I'm going to push that now. Chipotle all the way, you know. It's good stuff, I'm not going to let you. You know, okay. But of course, you know, if you're into Cajun, Razoo's is one of my top ones. Uh -huh. That's a big one. Of course, if you want lovely little seafood to go with that, check out Red Lobster. Right. Uh, if you were, uh, so you go to Razoo's, what dish do you is your favorite there? I would have to say, now I know this is a little cheap, a little white American, uh -huh. but my little, lovely little shrimp po' boy sandwich. Shrimp po' boy, classic and simple. It is. It yeah. really is. Okay. Let's go through here. This is a chicken ranch casserole, so we have to have ranch. Naturally. Yeah, no, any no, ranch no. dressing you got, buttermilk, whatever regular you want to do, go ahead and grab it. I'm just going to pour it up in the bowl here. Are you a spice fan? I'm Indian, what do you think? He yeah. likes stuff hot. There it is. Thanks. We're going to have a little bit of corn. You can dump it all the corn in there. Perfect. Give you a spoon for the mixing. Alright, get it all nice and mixed in there. We're gonna have, uh, we have some picante sauce. So we're gonna do a quarter bottle of the picante. Okay. Get popping off. There, there it is. That was a can of corn, a bottle of ranch, a quarter bottle of your picante. And I put extra on the on the side, so if you want it really spicy, a little more hot, you can put it over top of the casserole when it's all done. All right. Next, we're gonna have two pinch of pepper. There we go. 
We're going to do uh, eight ounces of cheese, dump it all in. A little bag. All right. There we go. Easy and breezy, guys, okay? Next. We do uh, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, just a couple shakes. Okay. A little bit less garlic, but it's okay. We like a little flavor. Yeah. I'm Indian. I use a lot of flavor. And the same for the onion powder, but yes. I'm only use for this one. Yes. Teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic. There we go. Perfect. Much better. Thanks. And then we're gonna do what you put in there. We're gonna triple that. That's okay. going to be a tablespoon of cumin. Now I'm going to check the chicken when he's getting this ready. Perfect. Perfect. Smell delish. All right. Going to have two pinches of paprika. Okay. There we go, there we go. Perfect. And then last but at least, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of cilantro. Yeah, 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 I love cilantro. So what we're gonna do, you can cut this up or you can just straight it by hand. Okay. Doesn't matter whichever way you like. It just goes in, give it a quick mix. And there we go. And you always have extra if you want more cilantro on top. You can, depending on your flavor profile. But to blend, it's like so. Chicken's gonna finish. But here, always, cooking should be fun, right? Always, of course. And so, what makes cooking fun? Having fun, you know, of course, mixing ingredients. Drinking. Yes, of course, drinking too. Drinking makes cooking fun. But don't drink too much, so you end up walking two miles and you get Uber and go back home. <laughs> hey! Walking can be an adventure. You know, we saw a lot of things in Fort Worth that I didn't know about. Uh-huh. I fell a couple of times, but that's all right. You know, I'm prone to falling. But of course, you know, it's all about adventure. Find an adventure, look for it, and go with it. Now, oh, fun, yeah. So, like, people, they want to, like, any hobbies and anchors that you have. Of course, naturally, you want to sing and dance while you cook. Because, you know, if you want to have fun, uh -huh. you have to sing. And, of course, you know, hanging out with your friends, going to bar hopping. So, uh, like, do you karaoke there? Of course, naturally. Who doesn't? Come on. If you want to see Darian and karaoke, where yep. can they follow you at or see you karaoke at? Find me on Instagram, uh, instagram.com slash 2can86, or YouTube at youtube.com slash 2can86. And that's 2can. T-O-U-C-A-N 86. It's 2can like the... The bird. Yes. What cereal is that? Wait, Fruit Loops. So there it is. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we go right in there and have some drinks right here for him. Okay. Yep. Five of them. Yes. There we go. So today we have Tecate today and have a little bit of drink. So pop it open. Let's taste. My prophecy back on. Have a little drink with us real quick before we get the meal going. And everything. Naturally. And uh, Julia, which is awesome, gonna bring her one. That not leave me out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. And I think we have one more guest. Who, who'd you bring? Um, I'm gonna bring my wife over here. Come here, wife. I call her my straight wife. Oh. Uh, oh, right. This is Ashley, everyone. Inside this way, Yeah. <laughs> Ashley. Grab your drink. Yes. I, I almost party fouled out. I didn't it. I'm impatient. We're not chugging, we're just having a drink. Oh, we're not chugging? Oh, we're not chugging? Oh. Wow. Darn it. Yeah, I know. That's girl. That's what I was thinking. Can they give me a key? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So just uh, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming out, guys. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 <laughs> Would you let the man chug the man like the chug the man chug? Yeah, chug. Gosh. Yeah, the chug fans. This man over here. We want to thank our fans from France also right now. There are Ooh, some people in France, so. France. Great. We appreciate everybody for being here. We can't do not. Uh, sorry, wow. That, that, I think this is really strong. <laughs> How much good try. My good language. try in life. That what can you do? Bad. I don't even know what I was going to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I'm just joking. 
We do appreciate everybody being here, though. Um, never going to happen without the fans. So, yeah. appreciate everybody. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you. And now, for my last part, I'm going to have Ashley's going to oh, come on. Lady. And she's going to help me finish off this casserole dish. So, we're going to wash our hands real quick and get this going. <clears throat> The food is smelling really good, guys. The chicken is just about done. Throw it in here. We get my tortillas and my cheese going. It's gonna be great. I guess we're hungry, ready to eat. And we call these three the, the trio, the three amigos. We have, I don't know their names, but they're in D'Artagnan. Why, yes I am. Okay. So you had the chance to kind of see Julia was cutting, Darren was Yes, jumping. I didn't see it, but yes. I'll go with it. Okay. <laughs> so right. Take it so you make it. <laughs> going to finish the last mix oh, nice. of everything. Showing you when you cut everything up, it comes out really fast. You don't have to worry about having to have your cook chicken cook a long time, so. We're gonna assemble this casserole right here. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop. I know, I'm Get in there. Get your muscles. You I don't know if I'm gonna spill it at work. I knew that was gonna happen. She had a workout today and she, and, gonna be and she lost all her muscle. <laughs> okay. So a little bit of EVO square in the bottom of the pan. And then we're gonna use tortillas. Corn tortillas that are fried, placed in the bottom of the dish. Okay? So they don't move too much. You get to play, so you get to push down and crunch them. Oh, okay. Yes. I thought we were going to put the stuff on top of first. There you Do go. Do you want them all crunched up or just uh, to fit the bottom? Just to fit to the all bottom, right. yeah. And then next, get a layer of that on top. All right. Uh huh. How thick of a layer? Half of this or? Uh, just enough to cover like a full layer going right. across the bottom there. This is going to have your tortilla casserole just set up in layers for you right there. It's like an onion. Layers. So, see, I know Julia had a funny story about going out on a, on a walk. Yeah. Darren told me about some restaurants she likes to go dine at in the DFW. Mm -hmm. If you're at home, tell me about the food you like to cook at home for yourself. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to finally have time to cook again. I'm switching jobs, so I'll have time in the evenings. Okay. Um, always anything fried. Uh huh. Fried chicken all my life. And, so you're a uh, true, you're a true southerner. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Okay. Um, love some chicken alfredo. You can't beat that. Uh huh. So definitely excited to start doing that again. Nice. So what kind of st what stores do you have to shop at here in DFW when you have? Well, <laughs> nothing too fancy. It's pretty much just Kroger. Just Kroger. <laughs> yes. Okay. And Kroger just get all your everything you need and everything like that. Yeah, so they pretty much have it all. Awesome. I actually worked at Kroger for a while, so you know I gotta really? pay it back and yeah. you know. So you have that? The another tears, layer? Another layer. Yes, right. yes. Is this our last layer here? It's our last layer right here. We can get everything on top of there real quick. This casserole is gonna bake about 25 to 30 minutes into the oven, and then it'll be ready to go. So you have all the flavors of cilantro, the corn, paprika, the ranch, the cumin, all blends together real nice. Perfect meal right there, guys. Also, if you're kind of chilly, it's good on a cool night. Like tonight, it feels nice outside. Actually, perfect in Texas. What's the temperature right now? Probably like in the low uh, 60s? I feel like it's about 60, 65. Yeah. There we go. Nice scoop right there. There we go. All right. Then you just put a little another more cheese on top, right there. When that's ready, then we just get this foil right over top. And this just the foil prevents everything from getting too brown right. and burning from the oven because it gets really really hot. So kind of makes the pocket and also keeps the heat enclosed. So when the heat comes up. It hits the foil and goes back down. 
so it cooks it real fast. Yeah. And if you were to prep this ahead of time, you can prep ahead of time and say you came home from work, you want to just throw it in the oven while you relax, get a shower, and just kind of hang out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do much at all. That'll cook 25, 30 minutes. And next, we're going to also have a quick little salad dish. All right. Yes. So I have a, a bowl right there with some spring greens. All right. Yes. Perfect. So we're going to show you this. We're going to cut some of this up real quick. We're going to have pears. And we're going to have some tomatoes. Really easy, <laughs> simple salad. Um, pear gives a little bit of sweetness. Right. A little juicy from the tomato. We're going to have a mix of EVO Square, a little apple cider. Vinegar. Okay. Really easy. If you want a pin of more sweetness, you can throw a hint of sugar, granulated or brown sugar, but we're just going to go with the natural sweetness of the pear that you have right here. If you want to pick it up or not, you can add an orange if you like or whatever fruit you have at home. Oh, you don't have to good. keep it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just cut this up in really nice slices. Just kind of go through. Do you like pears? Uh, yeah. I've had them a little bit and they're pretty good. Yeah. What's your favorite fruit? If you could go... Probably bananas. Bananas. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Why bananas? I don't know. I just always liked them. Potassium? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good reason, right? Uh, I heard if you eat a lot of bananas, you don't, you never mm -hmm. ever, uh, your muscles never cramp because you have, so yeah. potassium in you. So if somebody has like the athletes that are like working out, they get their hamstrings and they get all that stuff. They, my, my grandma used to say, they're not eating no bananas. <laughs> So, yeah. Can we get that one more time? <laughs> They're not eating the no bananas! <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Give me just a little drizzle of EVO squared in there. Alright. Uh-huh. A little, one more time with that. A little bit more? Yeah. Perfect. And this is a good dribble of the apple cider vinegar. Not too much because that's going to be very strong right there. There you go. All right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do two pinches of salt and two pinches of black pepper for the salad. Yes. Perfect. All right. Yes. Give me a couple of gloves because you're going to be my salad tosser today. Sounds good. Yes. <laughs> Ashley's going to toss my salad for me, so we're going to have a good time with that. Oh, it's all falling apart. There we go. There we go. Just put your hands in there and just toss it. All oh, right. Yes. Don't be afraid. Get in there. <laughs> I'm going to spill it everywhere again like I did the casserole. It's okay. There we go. That's a quick, oh, right. easy salad. Right there, EVO squared, apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, and a mix of fruits. So we're going to help plate this. So leave one glove on if you want, because I'm going to have you help me plate this up so we can get ready and have some food here. Go through, get some plates, and just put a little bit on each plate there. And then get also make sure you get some of the pears and tomatoes. That are in that salad on top of there. Give it up, Ashley, the best salad tosser I've ever seen, guys. Yes. Let me divvy it all out. Oh, yeah. You can save some. There we go. By the magic of television, I have one already ready to go. Uh-huh. So then when it cooks. Oh, that looks so good. Yes. Let's bake it off and it's ready to go. We go through. And it kind of break the chips up so that way when you get in there, it's gonna be crunchy. Right. I know you can add that pasta in so that one. Where'd she come from? <laughs> hey friends. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Food comes out and everyone comes crawling out of the I know, I know, I know. When it smells this good. Yes. So then you have some. Don't worry, put that right on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Yes. It's a 
Good thing we're not germaphobes like some people. <laughs> this man threw away perfectly good cookie dough the other day because he oh, thought no. that I touched it. Actually, I gave it to somebody else. I <laughs> I spread the love. So he says. <laughs> spread but the I wasn't love. There, so I really really you said you like a little bit extra. Kick. On your Jill. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. On the on the. No. I, <laughs> I know, but I also like the easy food jar too. <laughs> On your food, not not eating it. I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> I do this when I go home. Like I'll eat it from the bottle uh, as a drink. Just do a shot of pecani sauce real quick. It's getting wild over here. Yeah, no Seriously. shots of liquor anymore, guys. We're only doing shots of pecani sauce. How much of that tecate did you drink, <laughs> sir? He jumped it. Uh, right it's not what you didn't see behind the scenes yeah. in there. Darren had like five of them before he got on set. He did. You want to put a little on mine too? I like a little extra love. <laughs> it looks beautiful. There we go. Mm. Sauce oh, sorry. Sauce it says it says but picante is if you like some hot things, just kind of really mild. It's, yes. Yeah. Anybody? I don't, uh, so. you can put on one too. Why not? Okay. Yes. Beautiful garden to get. Quick and easy meal for you guys. Done. Got forks for everyone. Perfect. You're so sweet. Thank you. You're not seeing this fork over? Yeah. So we're going to take Are this you off. Not gonna, you're not yeah. tasting it? Hmm? You know, it's always scary when there's a chef that'll feed you and not taste his own food. Exactly. I didn't get to be this size because I'm afraid of eating, okay? <laughs> so. We're gonna taste, but I always invite prophecy on. We do a little taste real quick. So prophecy comes on, we do a little taste. <laughs> we don't wait for anybody. Yeah, so you guys can go sit at the table and like relax and chill. Have your drinks. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Yes. Good flavor. Huh? Very good. Very crunchy. I like yeah. the crunchiness. All right, well, and if we'll you, we'll sometimes if, if you do bake it too long, your tortilla cast tortillas will get soggy. will get soggy. So that's why sometimes you keep extra tortillas on the side so you can't have it where you crunch back again. Mm -hmm. uh, good to know. So what do you guys think of all the food? Everything's good. Yeah, good Definitely. flavor. Yeah, has a good texture. It's not too bland. I like it. That's good. You know, I'll put a little extra and garlic. How easy, easy you know it's good. Mm -hmm. How easy was it put together? Very very easy. It's very yeah. like if Darren if I can do this <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, Zadis met him today. <laughs> yes, and, and he you already said, know. And, yeah, and he said he doesn't need any. If he knows how to do it, I'm. I, I think yeah. I trust him already. <laughs> today we were rehearsing and he had a knife. He was. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He said he knew how to walk when he first got here, honestly. That's <laughs> true. See, walk and fall. So. As we witnessed downtown today, if mm -hmm. any of you were driving through downtown Fort Worth, you would have witnessed that this man cannot walk to Wait, save his life. You fell? <laughs> three that times, time. three times That's on that two mile fall. Walk. Is it like shoes trip. maybe, or is it? No, it was just uneven no, concrete. concrete. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that, that's the good, I mean, excuse, that's, did you yeah, fall? That's, 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 that's the excuse. You got the drop. And yeah, we you feel me. That's the excuse, or is that the... Is that really what happened? That's really what happened. Okay. They, they didn't fall today, though. Because we were walking they're, they grace. Oh. They're oh. Oh. I'm just a hot mess. Oh. You know. Okay. Give me a bottle of liquor. I'm like, you know. That's just me. Okay, great. All right, well. Happy to see you there, guys. Well, thank you, Brandon. Well, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thanks for coming out for all these people right here. Bye. Have a coffee to come on. We're going to have a little quick taste. And also, another person that you may have forgot about. We call her Bama. <laughs> she Why comes all the way from the state Alabama. So we call her Bama. And uh, she's coming. It's a long way from Alabama to Texas. <laughs> Damn, whoa, I hey. Purple, As you see, she's wearing red because Yes, I have to love my hometown, yes. Alabama. Roll Tide. Oh wow. Yes. <laughs> Should we give a sample? Oh, look at that. I already. I was like, <laughs> so we have a little quick little taste right here, and then simple ingredients, and ready to go. Mm -hmm. That is good. Too hot for you? No, and I'm a pansy when it comes to spicy food, 
So that definitely is true. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. practicing on eating spicier things. Um, I'm using a lot more spicier ingredients. I'm actually using red pepper flakes. That's a huge thing for me. You practice <laughs> eating them, but does that mean you can still eat them though? I, I cook with it and I eat what we make. Really? Yes. I well, can practice backflips all day. It doesn't mean I ever land one though. You know? Hey, good. you're eating the food too. Yeah, <laughs> so spicy food, huh? But it is good. So, they do compliment each other. Easy and simple, mm -hmm. guys. Have a little Q&A session real quick. Let us know what you think. Yes, sir. Answer your way. And then next week, we're going to be back here at 7. Follow the back. Zoom in. Instagram us at the Buckeye Chef and at I Am Prophecy. Okay, here we go. All right, we had a couple questions. One was asking what kind of spices can we use to change this dish into a different style? So this being more Southern, we can do, we can make it a little bit of Italian-y. We have some little bit of oregano, our Italian seasoning, which is the cheapest thing that we've used on the show. We use Italian seasoning and tomato sauce and make it almost like a chicken Parmesan style Italian with mozzarella cheese. And that can change your style of food that you have right there. So you can have your tortillas with your Italian chicken, mozzarella cheese, and tomato sauce. And that changes your flavor profile completely. And then salad, we can just change out fruits and veggies for your salad, but keep the still apple cider vinegar. And you're also EVO squared. So we're gonna have a little fun here, eating some food, hang with friends. We're gonna have a little bit of drink. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week, next Sunday, 7 p.m. From my plate to yours. Cheers, guys.